say, Starlet, thank you for really bringing the community together around the day of Halloween. When Starlet asked me to be a part of this panel, she wanted me to really kind of give a, the context of cultural relevancy. And so for me, as president, first woman president, I always like to talk about our history and our story. And Erin mentioned that my late father founded the Brother Crusade, but really, it started before my father. It was really a group of leaders uh, out of the Black Congress. April 25th, 1968 was their first meeting. And it was really to focus on the issues in the African American community. Black Congress consisted of clergy, many of you might know Dr. Kilgore, H.H. Brookins, we had educators, civil rights leaders, black lawyers, doctors, sororities, fraternities, and everyone who was really committed to the black struggle in Los Angeles. And so I always like to make sure when we talk about Brother Crusade, we pay tribute to the people who really built the institution and the community built the institution. Fast forward six months following that initial meeting, my father took out a second on our home for $15,000 to give life and to really understand the concept of how do we help our community if we're not willing to help ourselves? How do we invest in our community if we're not willing to put those resources not only behind our community-based organizations that are on the line, but also from a political standpoint, from a corporate standpoint, from probation? How do we empower each other? And so, Brother Crusade, fast forward, 1971, Dan Bakewell took the helm. The National Black United Fund was created. 27 affiliates throughout the country, and it really was to advocate on black issues.